everybody's doing really well today. So I am here to do yet another uh, new releases, upcoming releases kind of video. Um, I know I just did one, but there's so many good things being released and so many exciting things that I figured I'd do another one. Um, so I am coloring in a Kirby book, which is kind of groundbreaking for me because I did a whole video about how these books terrify me. But I figured I'd give it a shot because I saw one in store and it just looked really pretty. So um, on this page, I am using uh, Prismas in combination with Artezas. The blue flowers are solely Prismas and then um, the greenery includes some Artezas as well. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about 10 new books. Some are upcoming, some have been released, but in the last like week right? And I love making these videos. I always say that. Um, I have a whole playlist dedicated to these videos because I love knowing what's coming out, you know, um, as if I need more motivation to purchase more coloring books, but it's fine. This is a welcoming, this is a welcoming and open environment here, okay? <laughs> so we're going to start off with one that I'm assuming most people have heard of, and it is Hannah Carlson's new book. There's been so much hype about it. Uh, you can finally get it on Amazon. Actually, it might be sold out now, but you should be able to get it quite soon. You can get it on Book Depository. depository. And then also another, um, I think, Swedish book website. If you go onto her Instagram, she gives you a bunch of details as to where you could um, locate the books. So um, it is called Tales from the Forest Kingdom, and it was released August 31st of this year. It looks beautiful. Again, on her Instagram, she does a full flip. You can also see some of the previews on Amazon right now, and it's currently listed at $13.49 in U.S. dollars which is great because as you know, her books have really nice paper and they're also hard backed. So I feel like she could easily charge more and people would still purchase them. Um, I don't own any of her books, so I've never really, you know, kind of familiar, familiarized. I can't speak today uh, myself with the prices. So I was quite surprised when I saw that uh, the pricing was, um, that low. I know it's not a $5 book, but for some reason I just assumed they were like 22 bucks or something like that. So I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised to see that it was under $15. Gotta love that and the images look wonderful. And then moving right along to a book that I was kind of surprised I haven't really heard anything about or that it was coming out and it is called whimsical world number five coloring book fairies mermaids witches angels cute animals and more by molly harrison and it was released on september 2nd of this year and it has 25 single-sided pages um and the style is line art not grayscale uh, the description says that it features a variety of backgrounds, so some are going to have more uh, detailed backgrounds and some are going to be s more simple, which I think is great because some days you just don't feel like tackling a background and then some days you want to, so it's perfect. And per usual, Molly Harrison's uh, drawings are really cutesy, they're really adorable, and currently the book is listed at $8.99. So I don't see anything in the description on Amazon regarding whether or not there are duplicates, but it does say that the book has 52 pages. So I'm going to go on a whim here and say that they are duplicates. So you get 25 original images and two of each. Uh, please don't quote me on that, but that is just my assumption um, based on the fact that the book is 52 pages, unless they just have a lot of descriptions and a lot of extras, which I don't think they do. So... I'm going to go with yes on multiples, but the images are single sided, which is always delightful. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of black here to emphasize 
the bottom of the flower. I have to say, now that I'm coloring in this book, I'm not as intimidated, uh, but I am taking it very slow and kind of doing like, you know, one piece at a time. So I'm just focusing on one flower at a time and then, you know, the image comes together, which is wonderful. <laughs> so moving on to the next book, and it is by The Coloring Book Cafe and was released on September 2nd. And it is called Autumn Vibes. Um, so another autumn themed coloring book. They have released a few, if I'm not mistaken. And this book is currently $3.99. Like, oh my gosh, what a bargain. So I think that's just the introductory price. So if this catches your eye, you know, check out the link in the bottom because I do always link everything and just snag up snag up this for $3.99. Great deal. So there are 27 unique images in here on single-sided paper. They, it is black backed and then you do I think also get duplicates which is nice. Um, if you go on to Amazon you can see previews of most of the pages and most of them also appear to have some sort of quote or wording on them. So if that's not your cup of tea, then maybe, you know, look at one of their other books. Because like I said, they do have um, a good amount of autumn themed um, books coming out. So you're definitely not in a shortage of, you know, fall themed things. But I love to see it. It is getting a little crispier. Cr the weather's getting more crisp. It's not getting crispier. Goodness gracious. Um, here, so, you know, falls falls in the air. But, yeah, these companies have been releasing so many cool autumn books. I mentioned, I think, two in the last video that I made like this. That was only, gosh, maybe like a week ago. I don't know. My uploading schedule has been a little frazzled lately just because I am on a holiday and I just, yeah, trying to enjoy time with family and such. But I digress. Um, moving on to the next book, which was also released on September 2nd. And this is a really exciting one, at least when I was reading about it. Um, it's called Dark Enchantments Minis. And it is by Sel Selena Fennick. I always struggle with her name. So she took two of her books, full books, which are The Dark Fantasy and Wild Magic. And she made a pocket-sized version of them. So all the images from both books are in this book. Not only some, all of them. And it's just been shrunken. So currently it is $7.95. And um, the paper is 5 by 7.5 inches. So it's significantly smaller than the quote-unquote you know, regular paper that you would see or the paper that her books are usually printed on. So if you are somebody who enjoys coloring but, you know, kind of get overwhelmed maybe and just want something quicker or something smaller, I think this is wonderful. I also think it's a great idea. I'm really glad um, she came out with this. It also kind of reminded me of um, Selena. No. Oh, my gosh. Stolova. Tatiana Stolova Bogima, um, I talked about, I think in the last video, how she combined two of her books and also released them as a collection. Um, that one is, you know, still regular size. She didn't shrink it, but it's still nice to see that, um, you know, they're coming out with these kind of like collections or um, two-in-one kind of things, because I think um, it makes for a really great gift. But yes, I was really excited to see this because I know a lot of people uh, like a good pocket-sized book. You know, as somebody who's traveled recently, that would have been great. But also just if you color maybe at work or on the go, or you just don't have a lot of storage area. First of all, I'm there with you. Um, yeah, so it's great. Or maybe if you want to try out her artwork, but you don't want to um, kind of dedicate yourself to a big book, this would be lovely. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but it was released on September 2nd. And it is a Selena Fennig book. And her artwork is really cool. Um, she is also somebody who is really active on Instagram. So you could check out a lot of her artwork um, and kind of also see what you are signing up for. But yes, her work is super duper. 
Next book, I was really glad to see that there's a new Mythographic coming out. Um, I feel like they have also been really busy with new releases and stuff. They've had a lot of things come out. Um, but it is by Joseph Cottenbang, and it's called Mythographic Voyage. And this bad boy is not coming out till May 17th of next year, so 2022. They do announce their books quite far in advance. But it is what it is. You gotta wait. Um, I think he has other books with, um, within the mythographic series. So you kind of can get a glimpse of what his style is or, you know, what the books usually are. Um, in, in full honesty, I tend to stay away from these books because of the hidden objects. I personally think it's weird. So if you're not familiar with these books, they like hide random objects within all the images and they're like random random objects like you'll be coloring I don't know a squirrel and it has like a hot dog in its ear or something so to me like I don't know that kind of I don't want to say like deters me from buying these books but to me it's I don't know not my favorite thing about it I think if they didn't have those random placement items I would be much more likely to purchase them but if you're okay with it why not? The art is absolutely beautiful. Um, I was watching somebody's completed um, August pages recently, and she had one of the pages from a different mythographic book, and she whited out oh, the, the random objects and then kind of like drew over them, and you couldn't even tell that they were there. I was genuinely very surprised by how flawless it looked. So there are ways around it you know, the, the art in these books is stunning. It always is absolutely amazing. So if you're okay with either having the random objects or, you know, putting a little extra effort into getting like them covered up, I think it's definitely worth it. And the book is priced at $17.99 as of right now is the pre-order price. Um, considering how beautiful the artwork is, I think that's quite a good deal. Uh, if I'm, I can't recall if these books are single-sided or double-sided. I'm going to go with single-sided, but again, please don't quote me on that. I don't have any of the mythographic books. I considered getting the Wonderlust one because anything travel-related, I'm all for, but I saw some of the previews and the art style just wasn't for moi, and then again, it had the random hidden objects. They're always kind of our I don't know. Anybody else think it's kind of weird? I feel like would they lose a lot of like customers if they stopped including the miscellaneous hot dogs and like cuckoo clocks? Just out of a marketing perspective, I don't know if it would really ding their sales. Does anybody go into those books like specifically for the hidden items? Just curious. <laughs> but moving right along, um, the next one is a Teresa Goodridge book. And I'm so bummed this is not coming out until 2022, but it is called Creative Haven Village Charm Coloring Book, and it's going to be released April 13th of 2022. If you know anything about Teresa Goodridge's, Goodridge's art, you know that it is fabulous. Uh, she does the most beautiful country scenes. She does... Um, village scenes. I know she recently released, uh, like tr I wish you were here, I think is the name of the book. That's a travel book and gosh, her stuff is just amazing. She does great, great, like outdoor scenery. If you're somebody who enjoys coloring outdoor things, definitely. I mean, I'm sure you probably know her then, but yes, she does fabulous things. And the description for this book is take a relaxing journey through idyllic villages overflowing with charm and picturesque illustrations. This delightful coloring book highlights the wonders and joys of quaint village life. 31 ready to color pi pictures feature beautiful country and seaside scenes, fairy tale cottages, lush gardens, decorative storefronts and lovely cafe settings. Amazing. Per usual, the pages are single-sided. They are perforated. Um, the paper is nicer than regular, um, like, Amazon-printed paper. I love my um, 
what is it called? Creative Haven books. I, I think they're tried and true at this point, and so is um, Teresa Goodrich's art. So this one is adorable. I'm, I flagged it for, you know, future for myself. Um, but yeah, it just kind of stinks that it is so far away. It's not till April, but it's fine. No, I'll, I'll do my best to wait patiently. <laughs> Probably won't happen, but it's currently listed at $6.99 as the pre-order price, so which is pretty good. Um, and yeah, obviously if the price drops, they will just refund you for the difference, which I always think is nice. You know, you're kind of guaranteed to spend at most $6.99. And sticking to the Creative Haven train of thought here, um, Jessica Mazurkovics is coming out with a book on March 16th, 2022. It is called Wildflowers, and it will be released, or I said, March 16, 2022. <laughs> the pre-order price is $6.99, and Jessica Mazurkovics is another artist that does a lot of work with Creative Haven. Yeah, she's, she's very well known at this point. So by the description, it says, Wildflowers are among nature's perennial delights, and these 31 realistic floral illustrations will enchant flower, lo flower lovers of all ages. Poppies, asters, cone flowers, primroses, and other favorite favorites add decorative touches to wreaths, bouquets, and other unique arrangements. Oh my. So by the sound of it, it's going to be a very florally intensive book. I also foresee butterflies and maybe some bugs. Um, maybe birds too, just based on the fact that the cover has birds on it. So I think if you're not into birds, bugs, or flying critters, are butterflies critters? No. Um, <laughs> then maybe not this one for you, but the cover does look really, really pretty. And in my personal opinion, you can't go wrong with a floral. Sticking to other Creative Haven books, we're moving on to one by Joe Taylor, and the book is called Creative Haven Stunning Sea Life Mandalas Coloring Book. And it will be released March 16th of next year. Again, it's a bummer. We gotta wait. Pre-order price is $6.99, and it looks really, really neat. Um, I love a good mandala, and I think it's nice to see... Um, you know, some creativity and something new being added to it, um, you know, as compared to just circles and shapes and yeah, gotta love it. Um, the description says 31 artistically detailed mandalas design, designs bring the calming effects of nature right to your fingertips. That's beautiful. So I think it's perfect that it's coming out in autumn next year, you know, right before summertime. Of course, I wish I could have it now, but it definitely does sound like more of a summer book. And again, Joe Taylor is another tried and true um, Creative Haven artist. So gotta have faith in that. And I am really liking these flowers here, but I'm trying to not make them all blue. I'm thinking of, you know, like these ones here being a different color, but some of them look very similar. So it's being, it's a little difficult to separate some of them at the moment, you know, into like different types, but it's fine. Not, not like this picture is authentically correct or, you know, this picture has like a rabbit with antlers, but moving right along, um, there is a book by um, the Botanic, the Royal Botanic Gardens, and it's called North Nature Coloring Book, over 40 beautiful images plus color guides. So this book is similar to those Thomas Kincaid books that have the original image on one side and then a blank line version on the right side for you to color and I think this would be really, really beautiful, you know, color all the florals. And I would assume they would also include like the name of the flower or plants, whatever it is. So maybe you could even look it up and get more um, like, I don't know, C 
sample images or sample colorings. So I think this would be a really interesting, especially if you're interested in learning about different plants and botanicals and all that stuff. And in the last video, I also talked about the fact that I like that museums and, you know, um, botanical gardens are kind of branching out into coloring books because it is a new way of educating, you know, a variety of age groups too. Because in the last video, I talked about the book that the Smithsonian is coming out with and they've been coming out with a handful of books over the last year, which is fabulous to see coloring books. I'm sure they're coming out with a lot of like reading books as well. But coloring book wise, they've also been branching out and coming out with a bunch of really cool ones. So love to see that. Thank you for educating us. And thank you for, you know, kind of understanding that we enjoy this format and just making it pretty. <laughs> thank you for making it very pretty. This flower is giving me a hard time. And moving right along to another crowd favorite, which is Alice Mills Publishing and their Cross Stitch books. They released a new one on September 3rd. It is called Vintage Tattoo Designs. So if you're not familiar with these books, there's a handful of them at this point. And it's color by number. And it is in the cross style, cross stitch style. So... The picture doesn't have pixels or shapes, it just has like little X's and you color them in based on the color guide. You obviously don't have to. And they do also give you a sample image for all of them kind of so you can see what it's supposed to come out looking like. Um, I don't have any of these books but I heard it is very helpful to have that little guide because sometimes it could be a little difficult to see what color the cross or the little X is supposed to be. So, and they have a Christmas one. I think they have an autumn one. I think they have a Halloween one. I'm not sure. But yes, they do have a variety of them and people seem to be loving them. So I'm really excited to see that they came out with a vintage tattoo designs. I'm assuming they will also come out with a fall one if they don't already have one or maybe something, I don't know, Thanksgiving themed or autumn themed because that seems to be kind of a staple in all coloring book collections <laughs> and I think they started out making these books last year um, if I'm not mistaken they haven't been on the market for super long so it was definitely like a new idea to have this and it just took off people have been absolutely loving it so again this was released on September 3rd and it is currently 1099 color by number with a little X's and they are single-sided technically, but the back side of the image has the color guide, um, like what each one is supposed to be, and then also has the sample image. So the videos that I watch where people talk about these books or they color in these books, they say to start from the back. That way you're not ruining um, the sample images you know, with your alcohol markers because sometimes they are helpful and are necessary in understanding what in the world you're supposed to be doing. So that's kind of, I guess, a piece of advice I can pass on. Again, I don't own any of these, so I can't speak personally, but that is something that I've heard from multiple people. And they usually know exactly what they're talking about when it comes to coloring books. So... <laughs> Uh, but I guess it makes sense. I usually do my color by numbers from the back anyways. But yes, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for enjoying these kind of videos because they're so much fun to make. And so far, I am liking how this picture is turning out. I'm loving the Ortizas. They are fabulous. I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on the 12 pack. Obviously, now I want a big pack, but you know, one step at a time. But yes, hopefully I'll be able to finish this picture this month. We will see, it's a busy month, and hopefully you'll be able to see it at the month wrap up. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see everybody in the next one. Bye.